Hi! This is a well-known Makita 18V battery suitable for various kind of Makita cordless power tools. And in this video I'll show you how I increase the battery capacity by 50%. In the past I made a similar video where I was doubling the capacity of this Bosch 18V battery. That time I was replacing all 18650 cells with the new ones, with twice the capacity. You can check that video right here. This time I have a bit a different idea and approach for this Makita battery. Let's take it apart and then I will tell you more about my plan. As you can see, this battery has been repaired before. Two years ago I changed a pair of damaged 18650 cells and replaced a protection circuit. A full repair video you can find here. Since this battery is fully functional, I will not change any of these cells. Instead, I want to add one additional row of 18650 cells at the bottom. I'll use 18650 cells from Makita battery left from previous battery repair. An additional row will add more height to the battery, so I 3D printed this spacer which will give that needed extra height. A link to the model file I leave in the video description. I'll need only 5 of 6 cells. I think I'll try to separate them and will save those tabs connecting cells in series. This will save me a few spot welds and tabs later on. With a thin piece of wood I raise the battery tab a bit and very slowly and carefully cut it with a rotary tool. I'll reuse the cell spacer which was inside the battery pack. Additional cells from the donor and cells in the project battery are the same. They are made by Sony and have 1500 mAh of capacity. I tested them and they still have that capacity. What is really great. Let's talk about pros and cons of this mod. When the battery is used on a very powerful tool like a leaf blower, string trimmer or something else, it will continuously drain the high amount of current. Let's say our tool at full power requires 20 amps of current. This current will split into those two cells connected in parallel, which means each cell will get 10 amps of load. Continuous high amperage will cause battery cells heating, fast discharge and shorter battery life. By adding a third row in parallel and requesting the same 20 amps of current, we are splitting all load into three cells connected in parallel. Now each cell will get only 6.6 .6 amps. It is 33% less load than two parallel cell configuration. This will allow us to use the power tool longer with its maximum torque and power, cells will not overheat and will last way longer. Plus, this will add 50% of total battery capacity. The only downside is the additional weight of the added 5 18650 cells. It is around 200 grams. Before connecting cells in parallel, it is crucial to ensure that all of them have the same or very close voltage. The voltage of the battery cells and donor cells are almost equal, so I'm ready to move forward. The main battery can be charged with a regular power tool charger. Meanwhile, additional cells can be charged with various lithium-ion chargers. If you are using cell pack where cells are spot welded together, you can use IMAX B6 charger and charge the needed group of cells. If you are using separate 18650 cells, then the charge is way easier and quicker with this type of charger. I leave the links to both products in the video description. To connect the third row of cells, I'm using 0.15mm thick nickel strips and spot weld them in place. Cells could be soldered with a soldering iron too, just try to not overheat them.
I have to solder a pair of tabs because the previous repair was done with a soldering iron. All cells now are connected, so it is time to assemble battery back to the case. Due to the added spacer, I have to use longer bolts. With few used 18650 cells, 3D printed spacer, I got a battery that has 50% increased capacity. What is most important, now a power tool can work longer with its full power without overloading and overheating the battery. Additional height and weight aren't so important, because I'll use this battery on quite heavy tools already, like leaf blower or string trimmer. I hope this video was helpful. If you are the first time here, please hit that subscribe button for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.